Hi there. So we're going to head out for a walk and see what we get up to. Magnol Magnolia Boulevard on Noble. This is a, another big street in Sherman Oaks that leads all the way down to Studio City as well. And then you can see the Sherman Oaks atrium in the distance on Sepulveda Boulevard. And we're going to head down here. Some nice flats there. And as you can see over there, you've got more of a constructed trail that we're going to find a way to walk across to. And he's enjoying the weather. Nice little adventure for him. But yeah, as you can see in the distance there, there's the, the hill, there's the valley. Maybe that's North Hollywood. Oh, and as you can see, there's a little bridge there. We'll walk over and come back on ourselves. And I'll show you that side. Getting some good sun. With the LA River as my backdrop. It's about 25 degrees. April the 3rd. So yeah, very nice indeed. So here we are on the other side now um, of the LA River, South Bank. So I've just come across this uh, sign which gives you an overview of what this river is all about. So Los Angeles is here because of the river. The Los Angeles River was critical to the establishment of our city and is a key reason why downtown Los Angeles is located inland instead of along the coast. The river's rich plant and animal habitat provided a livelihood for indigenous people such as the Tongva, who established a settlement along the river near where the Los Angeles City Hall stands today. The first written account of the Los Angeles describes the confluence of the Los Angeles River and its tributary, the Arroyo Seco, as a lush and pleasant spot with tall trees, abundant water and plentiful game. So yeah, you got some photos there. Los Angeles River circa 1900 and I believe that's where we are now Arroyo Seco Steamway and then that's the river that leads up to downtown so yeah, interesting yeah, so what surprises me with such a busy city, although it's obviously very sprawling, it's like you can go from one one part of a busy intersection or a boulevard or the freeway, and then you you know you find these areas that are just so tranquil and encourage wildlife and ecosystems, and yeah, it just it impresses me. It's nice to come and walk and get that tranquility. And of course good for the dog so yeah this is just what I want to showcase myself exploring different areas of LA and um, I guess as this channel develops my series will develop and as my experience as I've only been here for coming up to five months now in Los Angeles in the States and as a whole and I'll get to show you more and showcase more of LA and the areas that you wouldn't usually go to so yeah, Sherman Oaks is the is where we are now, as I've posted the last video of the Galleria and things like that, and we'll be heading over to Calabasas next. So I've come across another sign, another bit of information we can revise and look upon. So friend of the river, Tom Labonge, oh that's pronounced correctly. He's a council member. Tom Labodge began his career with the city of Los Angeles in the late 1970s. In 2015 this year, this park was opened to the public. He was the longest serving member of the LA City Council, will be long remembered for his many accomplishments across the city, the region and the world. 
Okay, this guy is... Well, I've just come across this park, so obviously he's onto some sort of nature reserve, which is good. So, let's see what he's done. Prioritise the revitalisation of the river through the multiple administrations. So, this guy has brought attention to the river, directed funds to preserve the river and maintain it. So yeah, Blue Heron and the river, and the bridges over the iconic downtown Los Angeles, the storm drains of what you would see in Greece. So yeah, this leads on to a nice nature reserve down here. I'm sure he'll like that. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna explore it and see what Tom Labonge Labonge has uh, set up for us. So as you can see, we've got some sort of maintenance yard garden. I'm not sure if that backs onto the house. Um, and then we've got some stumps in the distance. I mean. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm a bit underwhelmed. I thought that it was going to lead on to some sort of nature park. Um, but hey-ho, we'll keep moving. It's still still nice. Oh, we've got a we've got a little guy rolling about enjoying it. Yeah, so you can see for the river. And these little stumps, I believe, for, for birds. And, you know, one thing I have noticed, there is... There isn't much graffiti or vandalism that goes on here, so it is well preserved and maintained. And nice, you know, nice for for a springtime walk. Yeah, so we're coming up to the end of the trail, um, or the bit that we're on anyway, coming up to Sepulveda Boulevard, and yeah, I appreciate you watching, stay tuned for more videos to be uploaded, that I'll be sharing my experience of Los Angeles, the different areas that I'm in, and giving you an idea of what's going on, and yeah, so if you could like and subscribe, to kind of get some traction on this channel that would be much appreciated as well and thank you stay blessed have a good one and all the best